Welcome to this segment of Wildlife Systems Real Hunt with Real Hunters. On this segment, we're going to be out in Marathon, Texas, filming a pronghorn antelope hunt. Uh, Jim Gustafson brought his son Winton with him. They've hunted with us several times over the last few years. And, uh, and as you'll see, we got some, some nice footage of little Winton uh, taking the antelope as well as shooting some prairie dogs. Uh, we also got some excellent footage of Cal Hendrick from Midland, Texas, uh, hunting with us and, and taking a, a very nice antelope, kind of a textbook uh, situation where everything came together real nice. Cal and I have done some work together with the Texas Wildlife Association over the last year and have got to know one another quite well. Uh, Cade Bond and Mike Messman will be your two guides on this hunt. And uh, another thing that we're gonna build into this particular segment is some educational aspects of, um, of what's going on with some research on pronghorn antelope out in the Trans-Pecos region of Texas. So it should, uh, it should show you the excitement of the hunt, some neat educational stuff, and, and this is a hunt where the synergy of the group that was out there and the interaction was, was excellent. Everything came together very well. And, uh, and that's very, uh, it's very neat to be a part of that type of, of group when things click along like that. So we appreciate you viewing this segment of Real Hunts with Real Hunters, and we'll catch you on the next go around. All right, we are ready. We are here in Marfa, Texas, fixing to kick off our 2010 pronghorn antelope season. We've got a group of antelope here in front of us that we're, we're looking at. We've got a pretty nice buck in here that we're gonna try to go down and take a closer look at that we may go ahead and, and take him this morning. Uh, the first stalk we had they seen us and kind of spooked out on us so we've got back on them again and we're going to try to get back onto this big uh, pronghorn that we see over here and try to get Winton his first pronghorn of the of his career here. Yeah, it's gonna be really good. And he hooks on the left but not on the right. You see? Yeah, just one staring straight out in front of us. Just like look up at the fence and you can see him moving. See him moving? Real close to us. See him? He's just going oh, to yeah. the fence. Yeah, right yeah, yeah, yeah. That's not the same one that we were so, hunting. Though. Still shoot one? It had to be the same one. We're going to get you a good one, buddy. We just got to be patient, is all we got to do. He wants to cross that fence. I don't think that's the big one. That's that not. No. One's a doe. He's sniffing at her. And the doe's just walked in front of him. Look at him through the scope. Mm -hmm. He's got his head down smelling where she just peed. Now he's got his head up. Have you racked one? Can I shoot him? Yep. Have you racked one? Can I shoot him? Yep. Take your time. Take your time. You're on safe. Take your time. Take your time. Put, I shot him. Put another one in it. Put another one go, in it. Go, 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 go. Be careful. He's dying. He's dying. He's dying. Yeah! Come on, no, no, stop. Safe, safe, safe. Victory! Safe. Thank you, God, and thank you, Jesus. See? And thank you, Mr. Messman. See how thank you, Mr. Messman. Messman. Woo! Hey. Yeah, baby. Yes, sir, you did it. Win. That's a good job. Good job. Now, Taking what your time. We're going to drive over there real quick. Positive. Yes, but, Dad, I, the reason I didn't shoot him again, you know why? Because I shot him right behind the shoulder bone and the heart. So, there's no reason. I shot him in the heart. Then well, the lesson I hope you learn is that you need to keep a better attitude when things go bad. That was a good okay. shot, my friend. That was a good shot. Thank you. Awesome. Good job. Thank you. Let's go look at him. You ready? Ready. Take the 
barrel, the tip, tip of the barrel on his eyeball. On his eyeball. He's dead. Touch his eyeball. There He's you done. go. Hey, Quentin. Thank you. You are welcome, my friend. You are welcome. Good job, buddy. Go ahead and pick him up. Let's look at him. Look at that pronghorn, guys. Look at the hooks on him. <laughs> look pick him up. Pick him up so he we can see him. Help. Okay. Wow. You don't want to get on your left knee. Get on your left knee. Don't ever step across him. That's disrespectful. There you, there you go. Beautiful buck, buddy. He's huge. He's huge. This one here, he broomed off just a little bit. Probably from fighting. See? Look at he's all ivory on the right side. Yeah. Can you imagine? Wow. Wow. Congratulations. Thank you. Is that the one we saw? You know what? I'm, I'm wondering. Wait, where did I shoot him? Really nice handle. Good job, man. Good job, man. Thank you. Wait, can we take a picture? Yeah, don't you get disappointed. <laughs> Dude, I'm the easiest one you'll ever. We should have brought a camera. We got cameras. I got them in the Jeep. Good. Let's put this down for a sec. Let's see where I shot them. miles without seeing him. And then we turn the corner. And then we turn the he corner and there he, he is. Had to been laying down and had to yeah, he must have just hopped up. Did find how many yards it is? Um, I don't think he's I don't I don't think he's as big a pronghorn as one of my son's shop. He really is pretty he had a nice shape to him. He's got a great hook right? Yeah. Maybe, yeah, I'm happy with him. I'm I'm happy with him. We look at him. Oh I ain't worried. I know he's gonna be nice. He's busted him. Nice and furry, man. He's got a great coat on him. Beautiful, beautiful. Look buddy. at this. He's got this huge hole. Yeah. Yeah, we'll keep him his head down so he doesn't bleed all over himself. All right. We're at the close of the day on our pronghorn day today. Went and got him a really nice pronghorn this morning, and about 12 hours later, Dad got one too. Had a full day of hunting. What'd y'all think? Loved it. It was great. Got good shots, and the Jeep was a good sh shoot base. Do you enjoy your first pronghorn hunt, Winton? Yes. Do you like it out here in West Texas? I love it. You want to come back? Mhm. Mm you want to hunt pronghorn again? I'll try Axis deer next. <laughs> Who do you want to be your guide? <laughs> That's my man. That's my man. We had a wonderful time uh, out here on the AS Gauge Wildlife Systems. Next time, we'll see you again. Over the last few years, we've had some mortality on pronghorn antelope in the Trans Pecos region of Texas. And at this time, Sol Ross University and the Texas Parks and Wildlife Department have been doing a joint research project trying to figure out what's causing that death loss and at this time they feel like it's perhaps a parasite that takes up residence in the abomasum of the animal called the barber's pole worm and uh, we're lightly involved in cooperating with uh, with both the university and the department and collecting some samples uh, fortunately on our pronghorn herds we haven't suffered the death loss that some of the regions of Texas have have suffered uh, out in that Trans Pecos area but, uh, but hopefully over the next year or so we can, uh, the department and the university can drill down on what the, uh, the true culprit is of, of this mortality and we can address that problem. All right, I'm Cade Bond. I'm out here with uh, Wildlife Systems. Been working for Greg for a while. 
I'm here with Cal Hendricks on the second morning of pronghorn season in the East Buena Vistas out here on the Caddo Gauge. And I think we're, we saw a pretty good one last night, and so hopefully we can get back on him this morning. And we're fixing to head out and see what we can do. Put a stock on yesterday, had a really good opportunity, but just conditions weren't correct. Put him to bed last night, so we're out this morning kind of catching, getting out of bed with his, his little harem, and we're going to see if we can't put uh, good stock on this antelope. Happy to be here, we're having a lot of fun and looking forward to day number two on our pronghorn season. Let's go. Peaceful deaths I've ever seen. Congratulations, <laughs> thank you. Appreciate it. They're saying. And those they got right in our window. Oh, like, God, he's looking at him like, oh come on, let it. I'm not waiting any longer. He got. How far is that? You got to range that. I believe they walked right Look into those it. Those down there. They're saying. <laughs> Boy, don't we feel stupid. Here's uh, we walked right into an ambush. Ninety-nine yards. <laughs> <laughs> Man, you talk about a stock. We, that worked everything worked beautiful. Even the wind trying to screw us worked perfect. They closed the distance quite a bit there. Oh, yeah, I mean, from that hill over there, well, I tell you. Well, however far they were when we first saw them. Yeah, exactly. Well, that ridge over there, the open ridge is, you know, that yucky, you know, that wug signal, it's like 225, that, on that yeah. far side. So they they cut it in half. Yeah. I mean, plus. <laughs> <laughs> Don't you like it when a good plan comes together? <laughs> I think I like reloaded. Let me go ahead and unload. All right, we're on safe and there's no bullet in the chamber. Sounds good. Well, we came down over the hill and we, we found the herd just, I don't know, a thousand yards? About a thousand yards or so from where we put them to bed last night. Put a pretty good stock on them and had them come over the ridge just perfect. Wind was, wind was kind of in our favor, I guess. It was close and made a great shot and here we are. Into a great hunt. We had, uh, everything came together just right. The antelope crossed one ridge, got in a little shallow coulee and we crossed over, got a good position set up and we waited for them. They came right down the, uh, feeding down the hill and uh, you know, it was just picture perfect and it was just like a textbook stock. Uh, we were in good position, and luckily everything went our way, and uh, we have a great uh, pronghorn. Yep. Appreciate it very I much, Kenny. Thank you very you. much. Yes, great hunt.